Hello, today for review I've got a really interesting model. It is an inexpensive model by company Mi Audio. It is a pretty well known model there, M6 Pro. They targeted these earphones as an expensive uh, IEMs for stage monitoring for those who can't afford themselves to buy some custom IEMs, something high-end, so it's affordable, inexpensive uh, model for professional usage. Their price is only $50, but sometimes they can appear on the sales, there are sometimes you can get them with even bigger discount, so they are really cost effective. As you can see, package is pretty nice, there are specifications listed here, so single dynamic driver 10 mm, uh, frequency response is standard from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. 16 ohm of impedance, about 100 of decibels sensitivity, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, there here you can see IEMs themselves, package, and here described set of accessories, unusual placement of window. So you should open them from bottom. There are arrow with caption stating this, and here you can pull them out from the bottom side. So, big case. I will return to this case later. Earphones themselves pretty small. And here replace it set sets of tips. So you will have a pair of comply phones. And a big set of white silicone tips. Really big set. So there are three flange tips, two different sizes because this is IEMs targeted for professional usage. Sometimes you will need to have good sound isolation, and three flange tips are perfect for this. Double flange tips and three pair of single flange tips. So as you can see very good set. In this big case with zipper you will have 6.3 mm adapter and box with cables. There are two cables in the set. This silver one with torque control. As you can see it's transparent and with uh, volume slot. It's transparent and with volume slider, so you can adjust volume if you need. And second one is absolutely regular straight cable. So as you can see for this price accessory set is really superb. It's even superb even without taking price into attention. Build of these IEMs are really simple but effective. Case made of transparent acryl, so you can see all internals, but there is not much internals here. Just connector, wires and the speaker itself. Uh, sound bore is made uh, with proper angle, so it fit into ears perfectly. Size is really small, as you can see, they fit into almost any ears. They are designed to be worn over the ear, so because this provide better fit and sec better secure fit. Uh, so. As you can see, sound bore is pretty thick, there is a protective uh, grill. Tips hold very nicely, so they won't stay in, in your ears. And uh, they provide good comfort, there is no sharp edges, the shape is nice, ergonomic, so they can be worn for a very long time. Sound isolation is also good, especially with the uh, three flange tips. So, they are comfortable and isolate pretty good. So they feature replaceable cables, which uses uh, bit and usual connector. But connector is really nice, so it fit normally. It can be attached and detached easily, and uh, spare cables can be purchased at Mi Audio pretty uh, for pretty reasonable prices. So this is really an expensive solution. So this provides better durability. There is piece with memory wire, so you can bend it to form ear hook. 
cable here is pretty soft it uh, it can be it can tangled a little bit but actually there is it's also pretty reliable because it uses double double isolation so it's pretty reliable cable that will serve you long there is chin slider you can use to adjust it good splitter and a short clip to attach the cable to the to your short to reduce the microphonic effect and it goes straight to simple but also reliable jack so build is pretty nice outlook is also okay and they will probably serve you long isolate good comfortable and uh, can be worn comfortably sonically these IEMs are also very interesting me audio made them as linear as possible in terms of frequency response so their frequency response is uh, pretty flat it uh, describes the sound I think of those I think in the best way bass goes pretty deep and uh, it's pretty deep for the IE, for the single driver IEMs and it has a good body it's not the fastest but actually it's pretty fast and it's fast enough for dynamic driver it's enjoyable actually it's nice I, of course I evaluate those as, as from the positions of the music lover not from the positions of professional musicians so I'm not sure which bus suits best for the professional musician but I evaluate them for regular music listening so bus is pretty enjoyable it's fast it's tight it's uh, has it has good body so bus is really good for us especially for this price mids are flat uh, linear they are lacking emotions added emotions a little bit so they can sound a bit lifeless on bad recordings but on good recordings emotions are of course present because this uh, IEMs represent uh, music as is, so they don't add any coloration, they don't add uh, any emotions, uh, so mids are also pretty resolving. Of course it's not as resolving as uh, balanced armatures, but for dynamic drive it's pretty okay. resolution is pretty okay. But their main disadvantage actually it, they are very linear and so they sound uh, pretty sharp on the upper mids and on the treble. So they don't try to mask trebles. So uh, on the sources that don't control treble perfectly, they can sound really sharp. They show any traces of sibilance, you will hear them, any bad recordings, you will hear them, any issues with recordings. So these IEMs are very good, but for perfect recordings and for perfect sources. So, of course, they are not as superb, as refined, as high-end and expensive models, but for $50 it is the best linear uh, flat sounding IEMs without coloration so if you need something for li critical listening for if you like to hear any small details and if you can don't have tons of money to spend or maybe if you need some IEMs for professional usage it is very good model as for musical listening, uh, I'm not sure, but because of their brightness and uh, unforgiveness. But for some genres like good, well, like well-recorded jazz, for some classic, and with good sources, actually they also sound very enjoyable. So it's a bit mixed model, but they design it this way. So they are really cost-effective for their main purpose, and they can they can suit some audiophiles who want a natural response as well. Thank you for attention.